In this video, I'll show you how to install Python 3.12 in Visual Studio Code and how to set up Visual Studio Code for Python. So let's get started. First of all, we need to install Python 3.12. So if you already have Python installed, you can skip this part and forward this video where we install Visual Studio Code and set up Visual Studio Code for Python. Go to python.org. Then hover over this download section and you can see all this here, but the latest version is available here. So click on Python 3.12.0 and directly download will start. Now our Python 3.12 is downloaded and you can just click on open file. Click on this add python.exe to path because this will help us to run Python from command line. Now click on install now. So as you can see, Python setup was successful. Now click on close and you can press your Windows key and type CMD. Hit enter and let's see if Python is installed or not. So to go into Python console, just enter Python. And now as you can see, we are inside Python and if you type Python code here, it will work. For example, let's say print hello world, hit enter and hello world will be printed. Now let's install Visual Studio Code. First of all, let's check if what our uh, Windows version is. So you can type Windows R and this run dialog will appear and then you can type MS Info 32 and then you will see your OS name that is Microsoft Windows 11 Home for me. You can see all this stuff. You can see the RAM. All right, and as you can see, system type is 64-bit system, so 64-bit softwares will work for us. Let me just close this. Now go to your browser and type download VS Code. And click on this first URL that is from the official code.visualstudio.com. Okay, so click the first one. And then you need to download for Windows 11. As we saw, <clears throat> our system is 64-bit system. So uh, instead of these things, command line and stuff, click the user installer one, right? X64 one, click on this X64. And now your download should be started and it is downloading as you can see. If it does not download, you can just click on this direct download link and then it will download, okay? So let's wait till this is downloaded. So now this is that now that this is downloaded, you can just click open file or you can just go where it is and then double click to open it. So I'll just click open file and the installer will open. Accept the agreement, click next and you can change the directory wherever you want to install this uh, application. But for now, I'll just leave it in the default directory. You can also leave it in the default directory and just hit next. You can create a desktop icon. Let's create a desktop icon. Add path so that our code command will work. So this uh, keep these checked. All right. And click next. Install. Now our VS Code is installing. Okay. So now there is this option to launch Visual Studio Code. So I can finish this and the Visual Studio Code will be launched. As you can see, it is launched. Now we will install Python extension and code runner so that we can run our Python code on Visual Studio Code. Now click on this icon or press Ctrl Shift X to open your extensions bar. Now type Python and click on this first result from Microsoft. As you can see, the provider is Microsoft itself. Now click on install. Now Python is installed. Now you need to type code runner. This will help us run our Python code and a lot of other code bases. Click on install. Now after installing this, if you check here, you will see this plus icon that is a code runner icon. Now you can run code using this if you have the extension for that code installed. Now let's go back to Explorer here and let's say open folder. And let's create a new folder in our desktop. Let's call it my Pi project. Click on select folder and click select folder to open it. Now it is open, but this is empty. Let's create a Python file. Let's call it main.py. Let's write hello, print hello world. Hit control S to save it. Now click on this icon to run it. And as you can see, it is running and hello world is printed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.